Hello and welcome here. I am Hamza Al-Khatib and in today's video I'll tell you more about multitasking on iPads. iPads are very great devices that are beneficial for many people. But in order to take the full advantage of these devices, you need to know how to multitask in a way that you are creative, productive, and overall you take the full advantage of this awesome device. In today's video I'll tell you more about it. So let's get started. The first feature I want to tell you about today is the normal split screen feature. Let's say you have Safari opened, as I do right here, and I have here my channel open. But I want to open another application side by side. Let's say I'm here watching a lecture or watching something or researching the internet. But at the same time, I want to open my slides or my materials that I'm studying. I can just split or just hold on to the Notability application or whatever application you are using to study. And you can drag it here to the side of, the, of Safari. This way, I have two applications open side by side and I can use them simultaneously. And I can take down notes, I can highlight, and I can watch my uh, video as well, or the lecture you have opened. So it's not only the applications you have at the top which you can use, you can also use applications from the library the same way, just by holding onto it and dragging and dropping. I can even open another Safari opened and I can put it side by side. Not only that, I can open up to three safaris at the same time. But that isn't the main feature that I want to tell you now about. There is another feature which is called a side overview. Let me show you how it's done. I have here two applications open, but I want a third application opened at the same time. Still, I'm not talking about the stage manager feature, but let me show you more about it. I want to open the second safari, but I want to open it at the side of the iPad, just like that. So I have here the first Safari, I have my Notability, but I also have another Safari opened, which is very nice. This Safari I can hide just by sliding it over. This is why it's called Slide Over, and I can even have it on the other side as well. And I can also hide it the same way I did on the right side. Not only that, you can use it just when you have one application opened, and it will work just as well this way. So with the slide over feature, you can have multiple of applications open in the slide over. I have here my slide over and I want to open the uh, another notability application, let's say, and I can just open it the same way. And I can toggle between the slide over applications I have open just like I would on a normal iPhone by holding onto that bar and sliding it over. And this is very nice in my opinion and you can use it for multiple features. I found myself using it mostly for music or for background noise while I'm studying as I can just toggle between the music or the sound I have on and slide it right over very quick. Now that was the normal slide over and side by side multitasking. But if you have an iPad Pro or an M chip iPad, you can use Stage Manager. You can activate it from your control center and it will be this one right here. This allows you to multitask more efficiently. You can use this feature to minimize and maximize your applications more to your liking and you have many options here for the aspect ratio you want to use. Now as you have saw in the previous example, you can only open two applications side by side. But with Stage Manager, you can open as many applications as you would want and you can put them over each other just like you would on a normal laptop uh, per se. I have here two notabilities, I have a Safari and I can open a uh, another safari as well and this way you can toggle between them just like you would want and you can put them side by side if you want and you can minimize or maximize the applications to your liking and you can use all of these applications at once rather than the normal slide over feature which you need to use one and keep toggling between them and now for the last feature i want to tell you about we will turn off the stage manager feature but i want to open the normal safari now I want to show you the picture-in-picture picture multitasking here on the iPad as well. Let me just firstly turn off the Bluetooth. I don't want it to connect to my headphones. Let's say I want to open this study with me video. I can open it. I can maximize it and then I can put it in picture-in-picture picture mode. And this way I can have the lecture per se or whatever I have opened. And at the same time have my notability and my right taking, the note taking application opened and I can take my notes down this easily. I have my video opened and I can just keep my slides open and annotate, highlight and do whatever I need as well. Not only that, another feature I want to show you is you can drag and drop images from Safari into your notes application. 
let's say I want to add a radiograph image for the teeth. I can do it that just easily. Radiograph image of first premolar. Let's say I want to use this image. I can just drag, hold it, drag and drop into my Notability application. And this way I've used it to just drag and drop from another application from the website into my notes so that I can use it to study. Now also with multitasking, you need to know some shortcuts for your keyboard when you have a keyboard connected to your iPad. I have here the Magic Keyboard, but you can connect any keyboard and I've made many videos. You can even have a keyboard just like a wireless keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard like the Logitech K380, which I've made many videos on, and it's such a great keyboard for your iPad. Now let's say, uh, or let me tell you about some commands or some controls that you will need to do or that will help you a lot in your multitasking. The first one is Command H, it will take you right back to your home screen. The second one is Command Tab, and it will make you switch between your recent applications that you have used. I've used here Safari, Notability, uh, my Photos application, my iMovie, or the YouTube application, and you can use it to toggle between the different applications you had open. And if you had multiple of the instances of the same application open, it will uh, let you choose which one you want. If I want the first notability or the second one, which is right here. Now, let's say you want to open the search feature on your iPad so that you can multitask more efficiently. You can press the commands in space and you can search for whatever you want. It can be for a Safari search or just a search between your applications. Let's say I want the notes application to open it as well. I can just search for it then drag and drop the same way I've done previously. Let me just tell you a little bit about the setup I have here for today. The keyboard I have connected to the iPad is the Apple Magic Keyboard. It is the one with the floating design and which attaches to the iPad just like a normal laptop would feel like. It gives you multiple of different angles you can take use of and you can take uh, use of and adjust very easily. And it gives you like a laptop feature. You can hold it from the keyboard itself and you, it will be just like a laptop. And it has a backlight on its keys and it's very easy to use. You can connect it very easily to your iPad. It is magnetically attached and it attaches via this uh, connector right here. You use your iPad and you stick it right here until you can feel it magnetically attached as well. Now the iPad I have here, I have the iPad Pro. It is this one right here and it's very nice actually, in fact, in my opinion, I've used it for multiple of years and honestly, I have no complaints about it. Now I also have here the Apple Pencil and I have here my Apple AirPods, which are not And really. I also have here the Magic Mouse, which I have connected to the iPad as well. And I can use it very easily and I can toggle and slide just like I would on the normal screen of the iPad. This was it. This is how I use the iPad in order to get the most efficient and be the most productive with it. Now you tell me, what do you think about multitasking on iPad? This was it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.